This is the FV-4005. It is a tier 10 British tech tree tank destroyer, and it is known for one major thing, and that is the gun. It features a 183 millimeter, which deals 1150 damage on average. It can deal a max roll of 1438 with a standard AP shell, and the HE can deal even more. 1300 to 2200 damage on a penetrating shell, which is actually insane. Is this a fair and balanced vehicle? I mean, yeah, it's pretty dooky. I'm not going to lie. The highest game I've been able to achieve in this tank is, I don't even know. I guess we can take a look at my stats. I haven't played it that much. I've played 50 games in it. Uh, the highest game I've been able to achieve is 7,000 damage in it, which is okay, I guess. I, I don't really know. It's not a tank that I win a lot in, uh, to be fair. It's not really a tank I care about either. But we'll see what we're able to do. Now that I've been getting back into World of Tanks, maybe this will be the vehicle to really to kick off the early game stats. So, here we are. Not a good map for us. Uh, we're on Corellia, and they got some pretty nasty heavies. Object 752, Object 752. Got a Tiger Mouse. I'm going to make my way over towards the 9-0 line. I'm going to be honest, I've really never gone to Boulders. I'll have to try it at some point. Um, for any of you that are new to the channel, I'm a World of Tanks Blitz content creator. Or at least that's what I um, mainly post content on. Actually, you know, we're not going to run Camo Net for this map because I don't know if it's going to help me. But yes, I'm a World of Tanks Blitz content creator. And I'm getting into World of Tanks PC so that I can make content on it as well. I mean, I'm fairly skilled. I'd say I'm, like, probably uh, Unicum in World of Tanks, but not, like, Super Uni yet. So, I'm getting there. There's some tanks I've done Super Uni in, but the, the major thing that I need to learn about World of Tanks is the maps. And spotting mechanics are a little different, because obviously lights have CVS and things like that. So, it is a bit of a different uh, experience. I don't think we can hit that AMX now. I'm just going to keep going. I mean, maybe, maybe from this angle here... Um, oh, oh, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. I saw the edge of the AMX turret, I wonder. Oh, please. Oh, imagine if that had hit. That would have been insane. Oh, well, not much I can do about that. We're going to go wide over here, and uh, we'll see if I can get some shells out into these stinkers. God, that would have been insane if that had hit, though. Wouldn't that have been? All right, let's go fully over into this wide spot. Hopefully we don't get detected crossing. I don't think we should. Okay, we're all good. Nice. Let's see. This is a pretty good position for us to get some bonks out. Got the 752. We got the object 777. I should probably load hash, but for now we're just gonna... Oh! Oh, that was so close! Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, we're waiting 20 seconds to get another shell. This is actually a decent spot. Even if we don't pen our opponents, uh, the fact that we bounce that 777 warns him that we're here, which is actually pretty dang nice. All right, we got a little bit... Oh, come on, reload, reload, reload. Come on. Oh, these are just such juicy shots here. Yeah! There you go. Nice slap into the enemy 777. Thank you. Alrighty. See, a lot of people like to spam hash on this take. I feel like if you actually want to be effective, firing AP is a better way to go. Because you're going to pen the majority of the shells you shoot with AP. Hesh can pen, but I just feel like it's safer to shoot AP. Look at that perfect shell right on this hall. Come on, reload. Oh. Unfortunate. Reloading again. I mean, we appear to be winning the side, uh, but we're not hitting too many shots here. I'll take a thousand. That's not bad, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This is the average life of a of a 183 millimeter cannon. It is shoot, shoot, shoot. Hope that it hits, and uh, most likely it doesn't. I'm kind of hoping that the AMX will overpoke here. I don't think he's going to, though, to be completely real. The, the, the life of a tank destroyer is hoping that your team, like, fails. That That's kind of what you hope. Now, I might move up, but if I do move up, eh, you know what? I don't think we need to. Our team's not doing a great job. All we have left is a Fosh over there, which means once they kill that Fosh, they're going to start poking this corner again. And that's when we should be able to get some big bonks out. It says there's a WZ in that back bush, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to wait because I don't want to have to wait 20 seconds. Come on. Somebody poke that corner. Somebody's got to at some point here. Our IS-32 shoots doesn't hit anybody. 
They have so many tanks that were spotted out this corner. And not a single one is poking. Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, ho, ho! long live the object 277. Sweet. Two shots, 2,270 damage. And that's massive. I mean, that actually helps our team out a lot here, obviously. All right. Well, uh, our team's starting to play a bit more aggressive. I'm going to move up here just a teeny bit. We got the Tiger Mouse aiming we got six more seconds oh come on if we can hit that tiger mouse and the turret cheek that will be actually so insane all right here we go oh oh we're close but no cigar i might start loading he maybe we can just splash the tiger mouse we got a little bit longer all right let's just poke this spot again oh that shell was so close look at where it hit the tiger mouse it was right there all right uh let's just reload a little bit longer five Four, three, two, one. All right, we got our shell. I'm going to load HE. I feel like that's a... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's such a regret. Oh, come on. That's so disappointing. All right. Well, now that we got HE loaded, we should be able to at least uh, splash these players pretty hard. Got the AMX off to the side. Come on. I'm hoping that the AMX pokes. Or the Tiger Mouse. Either works. All right, um... There's the AMX. Let's just shoot and hope. I mean, 700 damage is a lot. I'm not going to lie. 700 damage is a lot. That's that's a lot more than I thought we would get out. All right, I'm going to start moving up. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more damage, but I am going to just see if we can drive out right in front of these guys and get a big old bonk. The Tiger Mouse is still full HP. How much pen does our Hesh have? 230. That should be enough to cut through the Tiger Mouse lower plate. All right. Well, let's keep on heading up over here. Apparently, we got some assistance for spotting the Tiger Mouse, which is interesting, to say none the least. Okay, keep on going, keep on going. You know what? The Tiger Mouse is 1,100 health now, which is an AP pen. So we're going to swap back to AP, and uh, let's just keep on heading up here. I like how we're frontlining in the 405. This is honestly really funny. Speed is key, speed is key. All right, so the IS-32 is dug in on the side. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get this out. All right, let's slow down. Let's see. Um, AMX is dug in. All right, AMX shot, so I'm going to poke it now. We're just going to see if I can pen the Tiger Mouse. Aiming. There you go. 959 damage shell into his tank. Even if the AMX shoots me, we already managed to basically ruin their gameplay. Um, so we're just going to keep on backing up here. All right, sweet. I mean, it looks to be a win, which is pretty nice. We're up to 4,000 damage, which is also pretty good. So, I mean, if this is the gameplay you wanted, you're getting it. There you go. Nice shot from our E50. Now, at this point, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, you know what? The Amex isn't even looking at me. Let's see if we can just finish off this. Oh, you know what? There you go. That works. We got HE. I could care less. I was gonna say we're gonna shoot the Tiger Mouse, but the Amex just kind of stayed there, so we were able to finish him off. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the FV4005. We were not able to pen any hash. We did have a pretty nasty non-penning HE on the AMX for 700. But yeah, we weren't able to pen any hash shells, which is a bit unfortunate. But hey, I think 4,000 damage is pretty dang nasty for that battle. Uh, that 7-7 seven -seven should not have been poking. If their team wanted to win that engagement, they needed to not poke that corner. And they kept poking it, and we kept getting shots out. So I'm not going to complain. We did a, a pretty solid result here. 4,340 damage, second on the team, and uh, yeah, that's pretty solid. We actually made 53,000 credits as well because we only fired AP for the majority of that game. Don't get me wrong, the Hesh is super devastating, but the fact that the AP has so much more pen allows you to actually cut through frontal armor of heavies quite easily. And I don't know, like that's just fun and all, but I only use it when I feel like I need to, especially because I have intuition. So there you go. That is the 4005. It's not a good tank, but heck, it can be fun. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.